Hi, I'm James from Smoking Dad Barbecue, and welcome to Kamado Joe Live. You're in for a treat today, and if you like what you see, please be sure to check me out afterwards on Instagram and YouTube at Smoking Dad Barbecue. But enough about all those other great cooks, let's get into this one. You're in for a treat. Today, we are going to be smoking some pork tenderloin, making a port wine and sour cherry reduction glaze with uh, cherries on top of our pork tenderloin. We've got some pull apart bread in the Dutch oven cooking already. Uh, I'll bring you up to speed on what's going on there. And then we're gonna do some bacon Brussels sprouts as our side. There's a lot of good things going on. Let's get started with how we're gonna prepare and cook this awesome meal. All right, we've got our pork tenderloin all seasoned up, ready to go. And for seasoning, we're keeping things simple today. We've got salt, pepper, and some granulated dehydrated garlic chunks. And then we're also going to throw on our bacon and get that cooking so we can add our Brussels. But today's bacon, no ordinary bacon. This is the home cured bacon that I just recently posted on my YouTube channel at Smoking Dad Barbecue. And this is gonna have some awesome flavor and really set off our Brussels. So let's get it on the Kamado Joe. Okay, so for heat today, we've got our Kamado Joe set up indirect on this side. We're gonna get some smoke on these tenderloins and then I've got the uh, lodge uh, skillet over the direct heat and we're gonna cook that bacon, get it going and then we'll transfer the pork over there when we're ready to sear them. But for now, let's get cooking. All right, so let's check out our pull apart bread. Okay, this has been cooking for about 45 minutes at 350 degrees. Oh, that looks good. And so we are looking for an internal temperature on the bread, just over 200 degrees. I think we are there. Uh, and so for this setup, we just went indirect. I've got my diffuser plates on the bottom, the Dutch oven sitting on the X-ring accessory. I'm gonna take this inside and let it cool. And when I join you back outside, we'll get working on our sauce. All right, now that we've got our tenderloin on and our bread off, let's get started on our sauce. Okay, so we're gonna start by adding the onion with the olive oil into our pan and we're gonna cook that down for a couple of minutes. And then once that's cooked down, we're gonna add some orange juice, the port, some red wine vinegar, and of course our sour cherries. I reserved the sauce that came, or the leftover jus uh, that was in the container. And if we need to add or reduce our sauce, uh, I've kept that uh, aside in case we need it. But let's get this on the Kamado Joe Jr. Okay, just uh, so I could have some extra space and uh, not be staring in the sun. I moved our bacon over here. Let's take a look. Oh, that looks awesome and smells incredible. I think we are ready. Oh yeah, that is ready to come off. So this bacon was fully cooked uh, to an internal temperature of just about 190 degrees. And so I wrapped it in saran wrap and then put it in the fridge overnight before slicing it. So we're not worrying about cooking this bacon so much as we are getting that bacon crunch. It's going to be awesome with our Brussels. Let's get bacon off and the Brussels on. That's our bacon ready to go. Just gonna wrap that up. And let's throw on our Brussels. Okay, so the Brussels have already been seasoned. I went with the same uh, rub that I made up for the tenderloin. So we've got salt, pepper, and garlic chunks again. And we are gonna cook these in the rendered out bacon fat. I'm gonna dump this away from me so I don't get splashed. We'll come back to stir these every couple minutes. 
our onions are sweating out nicely. I think we're almost ready to add our wine, orange juice, apple cider vinegar, and then our cherries. All right, are you having fun yet? I hope you're having as much fun as I am. Sorry for all the jumping around in this video. We've got a lot of good things going on. So our sauce is simmering. Our pull-apart bread is resting, needs about 10 minutes. Our Brussels spouts are searing up nicely in that bacon fat. And I think it's time to check our pork tenderloin, maybe give those a little bit more heat, get ready to sear them. Let me bring you closer. Oh, I wish you had smell vision that smells good. Let's take a look here. 114, 115. That's good. 118 on the little ones. I think we are getting ready to sear. So we're going to try and bring our pork all the way at a finishing temperature when it's done resting to about 140 degrees. But at this point, it's time to be ready for our sear. So I'm going to go ahead and pull these off and let them rest just a minute. And those will continue to carry over cooking a little bit and we're going to build up our fire and get ready to sear them. All right, let's check on our Brussels sprouts while we're waiting for the fire to come up even higher for our sear. I think these are getting close. Oh, I don't know if you can hear that, but that awesome bacon sizzle, just gonna add so much great flavor. These are cooking perfectly. Let me bring you a little closer so you can see what I'm seeing. Okay, so we're just starting to get the color that we want on our Brussels, a little bit of sear. And I can tell by just stirring them that that tenderness is coming in full effect. So I think this will be about the last time we stir them. And then we'll get ready to uh, take these in and add our home cured pork belly bacon back into these and have them ready for plating. Okay, our sauce is done. I'm gonna take this inside and set this pan on a hot plate. We'll get ready to serve it. All right, last but not least, it's time to sear our pork tenderloin. In the time it took to get our cherries off and get our Brussels in, we're sitting at about 650 degrees. That's a perfect temperature to sear our tenderloins. Let me bring you a little closer so you can have as much fun as I am searing these off on the Kamado Joe. All right, so as you can tell, our tenderloins are done. Time to let them rest. Let's go build our plate. I'll bring it back and show you what this should all look like when we're done. All right, we are all set and plated up. 
So to build our plate, we've just got some of our tenderloin, which is done to a nice high-end medium rare for pork, 140. Uh, we've got our bacon Brussels, our pull-apart bread, and I don't have time today to tell you about this salad, but it's an awesome salad. So we've got some fennel, some arugula, some blood orange, some onion, uh, and a little bit of a vinaigrette uh, sauce. It's awesome. But let's find out how we did. I'm gonna dive right in with some of this cherry pork first. Mm. You have to make this. It is so good. It wouldn't be an exciting video if I made you watch me eat this whole plate, but trust me when I say this is awesome. Anyways, I really appreciate you coming to hang out for the KJ Live watch party. Hope you learned something today. Uh, and if not, I promise you'll learn something in one of my other videos on YouTube at Smoking Dad Barbecue. Appreciate you going to check me out there. Until next time, stay safe, enjoy your family, and get cooking. Fire it up!